Hello friends, welcome to Electrical Design Engineering YouTube channel. This is our lecture number 25 of our free course ETAP. In this lecture, we will see some important terms related to uh, relay protection and coordination. Before starting the uh, lecture, please subscribe the channel and like and share the video on your social media profiles. First of all, the first uh, term is the pickup current. You have heard about the pickup current. This is the minimum current at which a relay starts us to operate. It is an important setting to ensure that a relay responds to fault condition but not to normal operating current. When the current or the voltage reaches or exceeds the pickup value, the relay will activate. Standard values of pickup current. According to IEC 60255-151 standard, over current release, the pickup current is usually set between 50% to 200% of the rated current. For the earth fault release, the pickup current for earth fault release is typically set between 10% to 80% of the fault current. Differential release, the pickup current for differential release is typically set between 10% to 50% of the rated current. Distance release, the pickup current is 80% to 150% of the expected fault current for the protected zone. Now time multiplying setting or TMS. It is known as the time dial setting is a setting used in inverse time over current relays to adjust the time delay before the relay operators. It is the release response time to ensure proper coordination with the other protective devices. When the fault current exceeds the release pickup value, the TMMS helps determine how quickly the relay will respond. A lower TMS results in a faster trip time, while a higher TMS delays the relay operation. According to IEC 60255, which governs the relay characteristics, the TMS is typically set in the range of 0 0.05 to 1. This is the relay you can show you can adjust the time TMS setting here. This is the dial and in this dial you can adjust the TMS. This is a simple diagram a radial system is shown here. If the fault occurs in the zone C that is in the, this zone the relay this relay will respond in two seconds. If this relay fails to respond in 2 seconds, the relay B will wait for 3 seconds and respond will be given in within the 3 seconds. If this relay is also failed, then in 4.5 seconds, this relay will operate. In this way, the relay is maintaining the coordination. Operating time. The operating time of a relay refers to the time it makes for the relay to trip after the fault current exceeds the release pickup setting. The operating time is influenced by several factors including the time multiplier setting, the magnitude of fault current and the type of relay characteristic curves. There are three, there are um, four characteristic curves or almost three, standard inverse, very inverse and extremely inverse. The equation for relays operating time using the IEC 60255 standard is T is equal to TMS into beta divided by I divided by IP of raised power alpha minus 1 where I is the fault current or rated current, IP is the pickup current, alpha and beta are constant values depending on the relay characteristic curves. The value of the alpha and beta depending on the characteristic curve are for normally inverse alpha is equal to 0 0.02 and beta is 0 0.14. These are the values you can see. Plug setting. Plug setting the plug setting allows the users to adjust the pickup current of the relay. It is typically expressed as a percentage of the release rated current and allows for the setting the relay to operate at different current levels. Relationship between pickup uh, current and the plug setting. Pickup current is, is called the rated current in plug setting. This is the relay. 
and you can see this is a time dial setting or TMS setting is done here and plug setting is done here the setting of the plug setting is done here plug setting range most relays allow for plug setting in steps such as 50 percent 75 percent 100 percent 125 percent 150 percent and 200 percent this is a simple example relay related current is 5 ampere plug setting is 125 fault current is 20 amperes pickup current is good rated current plug setting that is 5 and 1.25 into 6.25 amperes then the current range is 6.25 amperes which is greater than the rated current the relay gets activated plug setting multiplier that is psm the plug setting multiplier is a important term in the relay coordination it is defined as the ratio of the fault current to the relay's pickup current mathematically it can be expressed as psm psm is equal to fault current divided by pickup current the plug setting multiplier as a way to measure how much strong a fault current is compared to the minimum current needed to trigger a relay coordination time interval the coordination time interval refers to the time difference between the operation of primary and backup protective devices in an electrical system. It is an essential aspect of designing and coordinating protection schemes to ensure that only the closest device to a fault operates while allowing sufficient time for the primary device to clear the fault. Standard values of CTI that is coordination time interval as per IEEE standard T242 buff book. Circuit breaker 0.1 to 0.5 seconds for coordination between the upstream and downstream circuit breakers. Overcurrent protection 0.3 to 0.1 seconds in co is common for coordination between overcurrent relays. Distance protection for distance relays as CTI of 0.5 to 1 second is typically for coordination with backup distance relays. Feeder protection CTI of 0.2 to 0.5 seconds is typical for coordination between feeder relays and transformers. Motor protection for motor starters as CTI of 0.5 to 1 second is suggested to allow for more starting currents without noisy tripping. Transfer and protection as CTI of 0.2 to 0.5 seconds is typically recommended between transformer relays and downstream feeder protection.